Hello, I'm Artifacts from Mars, and if you've ever wondered why Hollywood can't put out any decent movies, look at the disgusting behavior at the Emmys and you get an idea. The Emmys, from the very minute they started, were all Trump hate. All hatred of Donald Trump. Right from the very minute. They are they attacked the president for three hours. Now, excuse me, these people are supposed to be entertainers. But they're doing this? They're not, these aren't entertainers anymore. They're just political propagandists. 2017 Emmy Awards. Some ceremony wasted no time getting political. During Sunday's opening segment, as host to... Stephen Colbert and friends made political jokes within the very first mi minute, and Colbert quickly accused President Trump of treason. What a disgusting wretch. I mean, you see his picture? Look closely, those are all guys. In drag. What a disgusting creature he is. Helping set stage for perhaps the most political Emmys ever. One winner for Saturday Night Live, Kate McKinnon, thank Hillary Clinton. Another SNL winner, Alex Baldwin, Mike Trump for never winning an Emmy. He's a real estate developer and idiot. I know he's in show business too. Here's a breakdown of the show's kickoff for his opening song, Colbert Chad with Anthony Anderson and Allison Janney, and she can play about the current state of the world. Well, at least, uh, there is something to complain about there. The, uh... But the mom actress mentioned global warming fighting leaders and joked HBO is bringing back the Confederacy, reference to clap over HBO's planned new drama series, Confederate. Moments later, Colbert Colbert saying about the virtues of television at one point, delivery line, even treason is better on TV as an image flash of Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump. That's what I'm called for. Why does this idiot still have a job? As Colbert continues his song, Clara's line of dances dressed as handmaids from the handmaid's tale, male and female dance behind him. Disgusting. I don't think Look at the other link here. Emmys TV review Donald Trump overkill scenes. Stephen Colbert's hosting debut. In a way, it's all your fault. I mean, Colbert's host of CBS's late show told the well healed crowd early on, on at the Microsoft Theater of Trump's rise into the White House because. The next celebrity apprentice host was denied an enemy Emmy win back in the day. What does that have to do with his running for president, you pee brain? He has said in the past weeks and nights after viewership toppling late last night, late night, Colbert was quick to reiterate his belief Sunday that Trump is the biggest TV star around. Um, that could be true. Following that up, a weak gag about last year's record low ratings, post attacks went on as former White House press secretary Sean Spicer made a surprise roll on to the CBS broadcast show with a portable podium and a slew of untruths. So, here you have it. This is not a war show. This is a propaganda show. I only said, you know, three things I want to watch. Uh, award shows, beauty pageants. Uh, I forget what the other thing was, but uh, it's one of the reasons why. It's, it, it, they all bore me. I mean, I won't watch... I guess beauty pageants are a thing of the past, I don't know, but I won't, I won't watch them anyway because they bored me. 
This is disgusting. I'm sorry. I can't deal. I'm Artifacts. I'm Artifacts. Thanks for watching.